Okay, so the product we are gonna be using this week is the Bumble and Bumble Sumo Clay. Now, I actually got an absolute steal on this. I was at, a, I was at the Greenwich um, outlet mall a couple of weeks ago, and I believe this product is around like 18, 19 quid. I think I've looked at it in Liberty before and seen it for that price. But for some reason in this sort of discount beauty shop, it was in there for like seven pounds. So I got an absolute bargain with this. So I'm looking forward to having a little go with it and see if it is worth the money. And the way that Bumble and Bumble describe it is this matte lightweight clay gives hair texture and workable hold for bulked up, broken in looks. The benefits are texture and hold. And who's it for? Density, fine to medium. Texture, straight to wavy, type, healthy and or dry. Okay, well I have quite thick hair, so it'll be interesting then to see whether it works. It says, it, according to this, it's saying the density shouldn't quite work on my hair, so we'll see how that works. And for some reason on, the, on their page, it doesn't actually tell you the ingredients of it, and there's, and there's no ingredients on the actual uh, tub as well, so let's have a little look. Okay, so the main ingredient is water, and then it is canola oil. So actually, this should work quite nicely on my hair. Generally, water-based products tend to work a lot better than anything that is uh, more more of an oil-based product or anything that is more like a clay feeling. So actually, hopefully, this will work quite nicely. So let's get it styled up. Okay, so first impressions with the product, actually, it's you sort of the tub, it's actually really quite small. It's only 45 milliliters. So actually, the price uh, for the size, it is, it is quite an expensive product, really. Uh, the tub is plastic, which, but it actually, it, it, it's, it's fairly, fairly quite nice to look at. It would, it's just quite small, sits on the, sh on the shelf quite nicely, I would say. Um, when you open it and when you stick your finger in, the product is actually very soft. And when you're working it through your hands, it's got much more of what I would feel to be a, a paste product rather than, say, a clay product. I always feel like a clay product, when you work that through, it's really sticky and an oily feel. Whereas this actually has uh, a lot more of a paste feel to it. And actually, when you're working it through the hair, uh, it, it, it spreads through there very easily, but then it almost it gets that drier, sort of as almost so it's drying into the hair quite quickly and it sort of gets that much more of a paste feel is what I would say. So yeah, it's, as you can see now, actually what we've got through the top, it is, it is really quite a dry texture. I'd say it's much more of a natural look to it actually. You can see in through the front that it is very dry. Um, it's much more dry than what I was expecting actually. Even when I was working through the hands, I was, I was expecting a little bit more shine or a little bit more, not gloss, but it was just something more as though it looked like it had product in. You can see behind it almost looks like there's some product in, but I would feel that's gonna really deteriorate through the day. I think this is actually gonna really change through the day as well I'd say it's probably not going to feel as though it lasts that long actually um, I'm surprised actually this I, it's, had, it's had some good reviews online not that saying that it's bad at the start but I would, I would have thought this was going to last a lot longer and even now on my hands it's I haven't washed them yet but it almost has got like a, a chalky feel to it. it doesn't feel like there's actually too much products on there I could probably go around and actually walk around and it not be too too much of a discomfort which actually normally as soon as I put product on I've got to get it off my hands and I can't do anything with it. So actually, that would suggest that this is probably going to, yeah, not be that strong a hold, not that strong a hold, which actually is what it says. It says it's more for low density to uh, medium density, and I've got quite high density. So I'm going to wash my hands, and we'll check in at the end of the day, see how this has lasted. So actually that product just didn't work in my hair at all. It almost just disappeared instantly and during the day it felt like I actually had no product in there at all. This, um, today I'm recording this a couple of days later actually and uh, was not impressed with it for my hair. I guess like it said it was for uh, medium to lower density so I guess something uh, where the density is a lot lower than it potentially would work in that but in terms of my hair didn't didn't work very nicely at all actually. So comparing it then to the Baxter's, the cream pomade, the pink one, I would say actually if I was going to pick one out of the two of them I'd probably go for the Baxter's over this one. Uh, this one just really disappeared, didn't even quite have too much of a hold with it either during the day, it just sort of almost just completely disappeared, whereas the other one it actually still had something to, it still felt like it gave it some volume, so I'd pick that one over the two. And now back to Pastelier. Elliot.